another banger. Welcome back to another vlog or if you're new here a very warm welcome to you hope you're all doing very very well so today is saturday and i'd planned to do a number of things today but guys guess when i woke up <laughs> i woke up past 11 this morning and my plan was to wake up like nine just so i can get a few things done today that i already planned to do but i woke up past 11 to be fair i shot myself on the foot because i slept like past 2 a.m um yesterday or this morning ask me what i was doing i was watching a movie and then i was editing um my vlog i was editing a vlog that i want to go up on sunday which is tomorrow <laughs> So yeah, that really consumed my time. And one thing about me is, once I get into editing, I just zone in and I do not even look at the time. That was what happened to me yesterday. I was just in my element editing it. And it I was basically just editing away. <laughs> and before I knew it, it was past 2 a.m. So yeah. But anywho, I will still try and get a few things done today. So the plan really was to go to the salon, to have my nails done, as you can see, as you can see, my nails are not looking too nice at the moment. I've had them for, I think, just over a month. So I want to take them down and do a fresh set. Guys, don't come for me. I know I said I wasn't going to do, I wasn't going to do acrylics again because the last time I went, I didn't have a good experience. Um, but press ones are not for me press ones are not for me the last one i did did not last me up to five days you know i told you that one of you recommended the glue to me i bought the glue but it did not even do anything i bought the glue for 10 pounds that is the most expensive nail glue i've ever bought thinking that i was going to um do magic basically but sad to say it didn't work but within i think three to five days my nails were already coming off and it was just so annoying having to like put them back on whenever it comes up it was just long for me so i decided to go back to my acrylics and i'll just tell them to be careful whenever they are taking it up just so it doesn't hurt my nail bed but yeah so the plan is to get my nails done uh manicure and also pedicure my, my feet is an iso <laughs> my feet is nothing to write home about it's just not looking cute at all so i want to get that done and then i also want to do my food shopping my fridge is empty i literally do not have anything in my fridge no food at all so i want to um go out today to the market to get a few things and then come back home and cook so i want to cook soup i also want to cook rice and possibly stew so i want to do like a bulk cooking for the week and probably a few weeks but i don't know what energy i'm going to have after doing all those market runs and then coming back home to cook the lord is really my strength <laughs> i hope i'm able to do that because on sundays i'm usually so tired from church like church just takes all my sunday from would i say 8 30 when i wake up on sunday to i get home like six sometimes so to me sundays are just dedicated to church and i really don't want to come back home to do any of that work just to come chill and prep for the week so yeah so hopefully fingers crossed i'm able to do all what i want to do today so yeah i just wanted to come on here and start a new vlog i'm um, really um and then i might take you guys along with me to the salon and also to do my food shopping and possibly 
also bring you guys along with me when I am cooking. Alright guys, let me not make this intro for too long. I'm heading out now. As you can see, I'm fully dressed at the door. <laughs> Waiting to step out. Let's do a quick outfit check. So, on my head, I've got this. Where is it from? I think it's from River Island. I've got this River Island bucket hat. Glasses from Gucci. And then I've also got my top. What's it called now? A turtleneck stripe top from I think it's from H&M it's a really light top good for spring and maybe some life is not too hot and then I've got my denim jacket I think this denim jacket is from mango really really fantastic quality and the length is also perfect on me and then I've got my Tommy Hilfiger belt and I've got my jeans from where is it from I think it's from ASOS I'm not sure but it's a really beautiful long length mom jeans it's just so perfect and then i've got my bag i'm not even sure where this bag is from i think it's from um vinted i'm not sure but yeah that's my bag and then what else yeah that's basically it so this is outfit check outfit of the day market runs outfit i have this bucket hat on because it's so sunny outside and i've also put on sunscreen because I peeped from my window and the sun looked like it was blazing so I didn't want to take any chances I have my glasses my bucket hat and I have sunscreen on all around protection <laughs> all right guys let me quickly head out to start my day and I'll catch you all later bye soften up the mess drop it in the water let the daughter find an image with the rest she'll be learning how to breathe Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her hand And don't believe a lie You understand me Walk her down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within a column as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait upon the giver He'll deliver like a dealer to take her Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a guard and count to ten Lion's den, speaking with the higher pen Can't be touched by fire then Fast forward to the grown things now I'm working on them soul things now Forgiving all your old ways But it's harder on the cold days Cold days Never been a product of a flawless environment Never acted like I'm higher than You, 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 you And I still pray Dear God, won't you send me a break Cause I, I need to get away, yeah Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away Cause I would rather be, rather be running away I would rather be, rather be running Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away Instead of the changes, it's making me better
perfect man Got the whole world in your hands But you still reaching out for me Ooh, wow, why you love me too? I'm nothing like you Opposite of holiness was what I was But I'm to you See my soul and could you see you I held my hand high, could you see ya? Hey guys, I just got in now and I am so so tired. I left the house by past one and I got in past five. This is past five o'clock. That's literally over four hours. What took my time was my nails. So I had manicure, I also had pedicure and I had to take off the old set and do a fresh set. So I was in the salon for almost three hours hours oh my gosh that was very very long and then afterwards i went to do my food shopping i did my food shopping before getting my nails done actually that didn't take time that was like i think i spent less than an hour doing my food shopping so that wasn't bad however the bulk of my time was spent doing my nails but i absolutely love it so i got a friend tip done and it's slightly longer than i would have wanted but it's not too bad it's not too bad i absolutely love it and then i got a white um nail paint on my feet which i absolutely love so i'm going to do a quick unpacking i haven't unpacked <laughs> what i got yet 
So I'll unpack it now and try to cook. The keyword is try because I am so tired. And I want to make jello fries. I want to make soup, afang soup, and possibly stew, but I doubt. If at all I'm going to make anything, I'll just make jello fries and afang. I don't think I'm going to make stew today at all. Um, so yeah, I'll just unpack now and gather some energy and some strength, and then I would start cooking. So let's unpack. Morning, you're in the morning, but I need you now. Yeah, yeah, I find why I gave you what you need me. I know what you like. I feel it coming. Tell me that you get that. I try to need you. guys when i told you i don't have anything in my fridge i was not joking my fridge is literally empty let me show you guys can you see my fridge <laughs> oh my days can you see how empty this looks but don't worry that's about to change because i am stocking up these are the proteins i bought to cook with so i have a beef shaki and our body assorted basically i'll be using it for my soup and my rice i actually have chicken so i didn't have to buy i'll be using chicken for my jello fries as well let me actually pin this mic <laughs> doesn't seem like one hand is going to do justice so i'll pin the mic so i can be hands free and then we can get cooking so i think i will start with jello fries because that's like very quick and easy to prepare to be honest the soup is actually very quick I think I've made it before I definitely have made it before but I didn't like show you guys the full process and all hopefully I might do like a talk through or like a tutorial on how I make my jello fries and how I make the afran I'm turning to a food blogger hey, 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 hey. <laughs> even though that will slow me down but let's see what we can do I think yeah that should be fun so first stop would be to blend all my tomatoes. I think I would use just two because I already have some that are pre-boiled already in the freezer. Let me actually check. Yes. So I already have a bit that I pre-boiled a couple of weeks ago and I stored it in the freezer. So I would only blend two more and then I would add it to the one I already have. And then I'm just gonna add some pepper. I think I'll add about two. I like my food really, really spicy. So I would add two, actually three. <laughs> I'll add three scotch bonnets. I meant to also add onion, but sadly I don't have and I forgot to buy. So we will be skipping onions for today's recipe, okay? But ideally, you should add onions to your blended um, tomato. So once that is blended, it should look something like this. So it's smoothly blended, which I love. So I'm just going to turn it into my non-stick pot and then
So I'm just going to leave the tomato to boil for about 20, 25 or so minutes. And whilst that is boiling, I'll just wash all my proteins ready for my soup. So I'm done washing my meat now and this is what it looks like. I'm just going to put that on the fire and whilst that is cooking I'm going to start prepping my vegetable. So this vegetable is called water leaf. This is what I'll be using for the afang. There are two leaves that mix up afang soup. This one which is water leaf and there is another leaf. I already have that one in the freezer. That one is called okazi leaf. Yeah. <laughs> That leaf is called okazu leaf. I'll show you guys when I bring it out. But I need to cut this one. I need to pluck this one and I also need to cut it. So I'll do that now whilst the meat is cooking. Pretty little scheme Save her mind Hold her hand And don't believe a lie You understand me Walk her down the valley Pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach Like the angels do And you gon' make it through now Tell about the healer Greater is the one within and call him as the leader Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver, he'll deliver like a dealer to take her higher Higher Fly out the valley and the fire Take her Feet 
her running Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming Even in the fever, baby, cry and get to running And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up You're with the army Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a garden Count to ten, lion's den, speaking with the higher pen Can't be touched by fire Ooh, it seems like my tomato is actually ready And I don't think it's up to even 20 minutes I'm just going to stir it a bit hasn't been up to 20 minutes but this is the consistency i feel like it's not ready yet i can still leave it for maybe two three minutes um yeah i'll leave it for two three minutes and then i will start my jello fries so this is my mix my associate yeah, star, I've added water in. So this is my pressure pot. It really comes in handy when I need to cook like tough meat that will take loads and loads of time with regular pot. I just use my pressure pot and it cooks in like half the time. It would if I was to use my regular pot. So that's what it looks like. And then I just lock it in. So I'll leave this one for another two to three minutes and then we would start the jello rice making process. <laughs> Been a few hours, but it felt like days Only been days, but it felt like months Been gone for a year, only know like once Life moves fast when you do what you want I guess I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want Look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me She too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I wanna know what she's so down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract Get yeah, no know maybe In the meantime In the meantime so it's been a couple of minutes now let's check up on our stew so this is what it's looking like i boiled it for i think 20 25 minutes so we'll just go ahead and start preparing our j rice so the first thing i will do is to add my vegetable oil just a small quantity because if you add a lot your rice is going to burn so just add a tiny bit, well not too tiny but just here yeah, a small amount of oil and then you can start adding all your spices so i'm going to use thyme salt chicken seasoning all-purpose seasoning mixed herbs bay leaf and your maggi I just eyeball all my spices to be honest I don't use any measuring cup or any form of measurement <laughs> I just eyeball it so this is the all purpose seasoning and then the thyme Oops. Chicken seasoning. I actually like to add garlic and ginger as well. So this is my ginger. Just a tiny bit. And then I think I have garlic. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to add garlic as well, also a small amount, that should be fine, and then salt of course, that should be okay, and then I've got my chicken cubes, this one is from the brand No. you'll get this in most of your African stores really. So I'm just going to add two. Who is that? Mm -hmm. 
And then once I've added all my spice, actually I forgot to add my bay leaf, so I'll just add a couple, that should be okay, and then just stir it, and then I'll leave this to cook for about 10 minutes. So this has been cooking for about 10 minutes now and I'll just add a bit of water so it doesn't burn. You don't want to add so much water because the steam is what is going to cook the rice, not the water. Well, the water is part of what will cook the rice but you don't want to add too much water so your rice doesn't become soggy. So this should be fine. I'll just leave this to cook for another 10 minutes again before I add my rice. Let me actually go and wash the rice and get it ready to be added to the stew. So they still have been cooking for about 30 or so minutes and this is what it looks like. Let me just stir it up a bit. So I had to actually add uh, more water because it was drying up and the water that was in the pot was not going to cook the rice so I decided to add a bit more. So this is what it looks like. So at this point I'm just going to add my washed rice. And then just stir it up a bit. I don't want to stir it so much so it doesn't burn. Even though I'm using a non stick pot, but I just want to be careful so it doesn't burn. And if you've noticed, I'm using a wooden spoon instead of um, the regular spoon. I think I need to add a bit more water because the current water in the pot I don't think is going to cook it. So I'm just going to add a bit more. Right, I think this should be fine. And then I'll just leave it for about 20 minutes. Hopefully by then it should be ready. But I'll check up on it in the next 10 minutes just so it doesn't burn and also I can stir it up a bit. But I think it should be ready in 20 25 minutes. Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a garden, count to ten, lion's den, speaking with the higher pen, can't be touched by fire then. Fast forward to the grown things now, I'm working on them soul things now, forgiving all your old ways, but it's harder on the cold day. Okay, time to check up on the rice Oh, 
Okay, now that we are done with our jello fries, let's head over and make our soup. So here in the pot, I have my protein. So I have the beef, and I also have my assorted, and I've also added stock fish to it as well. And everything is soft and nice, as soft as I want it to be. So now that that is done, the next step would be to add my palm oil. So for Afghan soup, we need a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of palm oil. I'm just gonna shake it before adding it to the pot. Just add a generous amount of palm oil to the soup. I think that should be enough. And then just stir it up here. So for this soup, you don't need a lot of spices. All you need is your maggi. So I'm going to use two of those. And then I'm also going to use so That's all. You don't need anything else. I said I always eyeball everything. I don't have any measuring cup or measuring spoon. I just go as the spirit leads and flow when it comes to adding my spice. So now that I've added it, I'll just leave it to cook for about 10 minutes before I go in with my lid. So this is what it's looking like. I'm just going to cover that for it to cook for about 10 minutes. Right, so it's been cooking for about five to seven minutes. I'll just stir it up now and mix it together. This is what it looks like. And then I'll just add my crayfish to the pot. So this is my crayfish. I'll add two. So after I've added the crayfish, I'll just stir it up a bit. And then I'll go in with my first vegetable, which is my water leaf. This is what it looks like. So I've washed it, I've cut it, it's ready. And then I'll just add it to the pot. So I've had to change the pot because that one was quite small. So I'll just add on the vegetable. This is the water leaf. So I'll just stir it up a bit. And then I'll just cover it and leave it to cook for about two to three minutes. So this has been cooking for over seven minutes now. I'll just stir it up and go ahead and add the other vegetables. So this is the okasi. So I said to cook after you need to leave the water leaf, which is what's currently in the pot, and then we have the okasi, which I will be adding now. And then I'm just going to stir it up nicely. So after stirring it, I'll just leave it to cook for about 5 minutes. It doesn't take time to cook, 5 minutes should be fine and then once 5 minutes is up, your soup will be ready. So it's been 5 minutes now, let's see what the soup is looking like. Ooh. Our Afghan soup is ready. Can you see the delicacy? I cannot even wait to eat. I've already salivated. This is what my afan looks like. Yelling from the roof, I touch. And then I have my rice in here. Speaking with the higher can't be touched by fire. That's forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Please put Forgive some respect on, on my name, okay? <laughs> oh my days, I am so, so, so tired, but it was so worth it. I'm so glad I started to cook. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed this cook with me. You come to the market with me vlog, and I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye!